what's up welcome to my channel simply love here here to deliver your messages from spirit and uh just want to thank you guys for being here thank you for your subscription thank you for your likes your shares your comments i appreciate each and every one of you okay so with that being said i'm doing sun moon rising and venus sign for capricorn Capricorn, what's up? Remember, these uh, messages are very, very fluid, okay? There's no time when it comes to spirit. So it could be somebody's past, somebody's future now, and somebody's future. It just depends because these are worldwide messages, okay? Uh, don't Please don't make no life changing. Uh, don't make no change and alter it to your life unless you get a personal private reading because, like I said, these are general readings. Don't expect me to sit up here and try to deliver a private, a personal private reading because I can't do that when it's general. I'm not, you know, I'm not picking up, I'm picking up gener energies from the worldwide, not just one individual. That's why I say, don't get yourself in a tizzy over these uh, general readings, okay? Some things may, you know, for some people, a lot of people tell me that's my situation, my situation. Yes, it's your situation for some of you, but... You know, in order to get, you know, the, the, a personal reading to find out where you're going, what you're doing, what spirit sees for you, you know, and then, you know, it, that's not even in stone because people you could uh, change their own destiny a lot of the times when they find out stuff. People can self-sabotage, okay? It just depends on uh, where you're at in your growth when it comes to relationships or even, you know, uh Family ships, friendships, no matter what it is, whatever, you know, work and career, whatever, okay? So, the energies can be vice versa, you guys. I don't know how many times I have to say that because of some of, some of the questions I get asked, you know, in the comment section. I, I, and I have to say, look, and I'm saying it, I hope you can understand I'm saying this. The energies can go vice versa, okay? If this rings a bell in your ear from spirit, okay, I'm just the messenger here. No more, no less. If you hear something that rings a bell in your ear and you feel like that's your situation, well, that's your situation. That's what you take in. If it's not, you just leave it on alone, okay? Um, it is what it is. That's all I can say. But anyway, Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you guys. Also, remember the court card, y'all. There's no gender specific, okay? Because it is worldwide. And we'll read for male and females and anything else that comes in there, okay? So that's what we're doing here. See, that's a general reading where there's nothing uh, specific or, or, you know, detailed. For, we can't get detailed. No, there's no way. You can get detail with it and make it like a private reading because these are general readings, general messages for who? The whole world, okay? Not saying everybody in the world watches them, but it's en energies throughout the whole world that's coming in here. So let's do this, okay? I hope I made myself clear. If not, you know, please email me and ask me a question or two if you don't quite understand. I may even put a video ab out about this situation because I think things are getting a little out there with people with these tarot readings when we specifically tell you that they're general. And some things are going to stick out to you, but it's just, it's not your personal situation. That that requires personal pride. Y'all don't understand that. You sitting up here trying to get free... You know, and thinking, you know, just because it, <laughs> invest in a good reader, okay, and get yourself a personal private read, quit playing. <laughs> Y'all quit playing, okay? All right, now, let me do this, Capricorn, let me go ahead, let me stop messing with y'all today, okay? Let me stop. Anyhow... <laughs> <laughs> okay, if y'all ain't clicked off by now, here you go. Okay, let me get serious here, spirit. You know, Capricorn, look, for a lot of you male and female Capricorns out there, sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, and cross watchers, okay? This is all for you guys. You know, take what you can take leave the rest alone but when i'm picking up the energy and that's why i'm feeling so happy i'm it's like all of a sudden there's some 
I'm like feel real jolly in y'all reading. That's the energy I was picking up before I came on. And the energy I'm picking up is that you guys, some of you guys, I feel like is are traveling or will be traveling um, to meet someone. You have met someone that's not quite close to you is it takes a travel takes you to get in your car or plane or train or whatever it may be visa <laughs> to see this person and I'm picking up <clears throat> yeah there's a distance some of you are at a distance from someone or some of you are going to go on some type of some somewhere traveling and meet somebody that's like oh man you guys are going to be so excited it's going to be like a instant connection for you guys um some type of instant connection that's what i'm picking up like some kind of i see sparks and firecrackers and all that kind of stuff so that's just telling me instant uh an instant connection an instant like a love um, it's gonna bring on some changes in your life. You know, I feel I'm hearing that some of you may uh or it has to be a choice of who wants to where you guys want to connect at on a permanent basis because of the distance. Somebody's gonna have to somebody's gonna have to make a change in their life, and that's a change whether you move into them or them move into you. It's gonna be a be a big, big change. There's definitely courtship going on. Definitely. I see uh, roses. I see hearts and all this kind of stuff. I see, I feel, I'm feeling nice. That stuff myself, like real giddy. Like I'm excited for you guys, Capricorn. I'm excited. Wow. I'm feeling like gifts being exchanged, like people doing, two people doing stuff for each other, sharing, like there's a real closeness. There's a real bond here for some of you. That's what I'm picking up energetically right now. Okay. Hit the comment section if that resonates to some of you. Now, some of you, it, it, it could be happening right now. Some of you may have happened already. So, you know, and some of you, it just may take place in the future. Like I said, the energies are very, very fluent when it comes to because you know they don't live. They don't. They don't live in this uh, mat uh, material world. This world is full of, um, you know, once you rise from your body, your your soul. You're no longer, uh, you know, you're, you're not part of this body anymore. It just is here to stay and goes in the ground and that's it. But your soul lives on, okay? Remember that. So there's no such thing as death. There's a death. There's a transformation. There's a transformation. You're going to you're gonna transfer or transform. You're going to transfer out of this body into where you came from. Come from somewhere, right? Uh, okay, let's do this, you guys. Capricorn, if you sorry about that. <laughs> if you guys are dealing with the air sign, we're gonna go through all the signs here. Just get a little peekaboo here for some of you. Not gonna be for everybody, okay? But whatever's coming out of here, like I said, it's just general, y'all. Keep keep your hats on. Okay, if you're dealing with air, air signs, um, I feel like there's a fortunate situ situation. I feel like things are going to go in both of y'all favor, okay? Something great is going to come out if you're dealing with air signs. I really do feel that. Yeah, here's the, uh, yep. Could be some marriage going on here, too. Some of you may be married to an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? Okay. But uh, there's definitely going to be emotional happiness with this uh, air sign, you guys, if you're dating for some of you out there. All right. New beginnings. Uh, things taking a turn for the better. Taking a turn for a, you know, new start. Okay, so if you're dating or seeing a fire sign, if you're dating a fire sign, if you're dating a fire sign. It's for couples and singles, okay? I feel like there's going to be a rebirth. There's an ending for a new beginning if you're dating a fire sign. And that looks like fire. Fire! This is a major arcana card here. So is that Wheel of Fortune. So it's definitely rising to the you know, rising from the ashes, leaving old stuff alone. So I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, there's some type of endings for new beginnings. With the Ace of Cups there. Some type of blessings. Could be even love for yourself as well, because 
of experiencing the death. You know, when you're rising from the occasion, leaving things behind that no longer serve you, clearing your energy, start having a new, uh, you know, a new way about yourself, a rebirth, okay? And the rebirth causes you, you know, uh, uh, having blessings and love for yourself, okay? Or just in new beginnings in love. All right, so if you're dating a water sign, if you're dating a water sign, it's like you're taking a break, okay? You're taking a uh, look at a person chilling, okay? Taking a break mentally. You're taking a, a break of your thoughts, releasing some things. Okay, what we got here? The high priestess. Uh, somebody might be, you know, kind of holding secrets. Could be uh, somebody's, could be thinking about another person. Guides in here acting up. Okay. <laughs> I'm just picking up the energy of, you know, like somebody's taking a break from this because it could be possibly could be some secrets going on or somebody just keeping something to themselves. Something, somebody may be using their intuition regarding this uh, relationship if you're dealing with water signs. Now, if you're dealing with earth signs, We got the Prince of Wands. If you're dealing with an earth sign, you're dealing with a player, okay? Somebody who's all over the place. They don't have their mind made up. They're just like running here, running there. You see that horse? They just galloping, galloping all over the place, okay? In, you know, the dark, being sneaky or whatever. So you're dealing with somebody who's not stable. They're all over the place. Prince of Wands has a bad rap, okay, for not being stable. They're very charming and all that stuff. You know, they they very charismatic, but they're just not the ones that has the staying power, okay? So you're going to have to really block yourself from this person or protect yourself from this person coming in like this. Because they're just going to come in as quick as they come in, as quick as they're going to go out. They're not the type to get into a relationship with, okay? So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that part. Okay, let's get a little insight, okay, before we start your love reading. Let's get a little insight here. Uh, uh, this month's reading has been a little extensive. I think I've been doing like over 30 minutes because of the retrograde where, you know, people are kind of coming down, you know, it's still some residue, like I said, left to it from maybe the, I think up until the third or coming close to mid-month, there's still something lingering on from that situation. People got to come back and, and straighten herself out from what, from it, from it. Let me see, let me put my glasses on here. Yeah, look, you guys got generosity because I told you guys um, as I was what I was hearing from spirit and seeing and things like that, that, you know, gifts and stuff, I feel like are going to be ex exchanged. Look at that. You know, gener somebody's going to be very, very generous towards you and you towards them. I picked that up really, really heavily. I believe there's going to be gifts exchanged. Um, I feel like there's going to be lots of dating, having fun. Uh trinklets buying trinklets something like that some of y'all might be getting tattoos some kind of tattoos like a to 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 say that you you know just to say that you're mine and I'm yours some type of tattoo I don't think they're going to be similar but I just think it's going to be give an indication for you two only ones going to know about what those tattoos mean that's what I'm picking up for some of you Stardust, look at there. Like Stardust is like the star card. Wishes and dreams coming true, Capricorns, for some of y'all out there. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 bring it on home here. We get one more card and see what you know, kind of the feel of the reading. Fertility. Some of you may somebody may end up getting pregnant here, okay? Somebody may end up having a baby, having my baby. Um, I feel like somebody may want to write a book about what's going on, this situation, because it's so beautiful. 
I feel like somebody may be writing a book or, or spending some time writing or somebody might be writing somebody a love letter. A lot of letters, a lot of communication going back and forth. That's what I'm picking up for that. Okay, okay. So we warming on up, y'all. We warming on up. Let's get into this reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign for Capricorn. Uh, once I get the rest of the monthlies out, which I think I got th one, two, three more to do, and I'm going to have those out tonight, and then I'm going to put another video out tomorrow, I believe, if, if, if nothing comes up, I'll put another video out tomorrow uh, regarding my uh, the, the cards that I'm going to be giving away. All I ask for is the shipping, okay, for them. Most of them are, you know, new. I only used them a couple of times. I got like two big giant boxes of, of cards. As y'all know, I'm making my own decks and stuff to get, you know, to put my own energy into them, you know, and things like that and making more uh, effort. Uh, you know, self-help cards. I'm, I'm really focusing on self-help cards to help people to, so they can like help their self at home, you know, um, just read the captions, shuffle, read the caption, light a candle, light an incense, and just on a daily basis for you guys who need guidance and help to just help yourself. So that's going to be my thing. You're welcome to go on my website, which is listed below, and you know, check out or just go to the play, go to my playlist, and you can see my tarot cards and inspirational cards, and you can see, you know, have an idea of what they look like, the words on them, and actually can purchase them on the website. I use them in my readings. Okay, uh, let me shut up and keep going. I'm hyped up for you guys. I really am. Here's a night. Well, this is male, female, a pentacle, someone who is um, very practical, okay? It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. What is it about this night, okay? This is y'all energy here. This is you standing in your power, ready red to go. See how you look into the side like I'm going moving forward here. Um, I feel like, you know, for some of you with this Ten of Wands in reverse, you're releasing some type of burden. Letting something go here that was burdensome. Yeah, and the two of swords in reverse. Um, I feel like it's a decision. First, it was a stalemate. Now it's like been released. Somebody's coming out of, of feeling, you know, like they don't want to say nothing or do something. Somebody's coming out of a stalemate situation. All right, and moving forward with the six of swords. Okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some of y'all got a lot of air and energy here. Or you can have an air in your natal chart. It could be your cross watcher. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry. We have the king of rods or the king of wands. Okay, they're looking at. Somebody could be trying to block someone from moving on. Look at that. See how they are looking at this person leaving. They could be blocking. Look, they got that big ass club in their hand. Like, where you think you going? <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. But somebody's like getting away, you know what I mean? They want to get away, okay? It could be a uh, fire sign. Two of these, three of these cards fell out, okay. Yeah, there's some blockage here. You know, this talks about victory or something like somebody wants to, somebody don't want to see somebody go, so they're like standing in the way, okay? Some type of fire sign for some of y'all. They blocking you and then like standing in front of you like, look, I want to I want to be the one, okay? I want to be the one. Where you going? Where you think you going to? Air, uh, fire sign. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius and like, you know, want to, they just want to, I'm sorry, a Leo. Just a strength card. Somebody, somebody here better maintain their cool. Somebody better watch it with somebody. Somebody's trying to get something out of somebody here. You know, you know, open the lion's mouth and you know hear them roar. Just trying to keep somebody quiet regarding something. You know, I'm I'm not reading the. I'm using my intuition when it comes to these some some of these cards because it makes it more worldwide. Um. 
plus you need if you know the card you have some type of you have to use your intuition so um, that's what I'm picking up with this card. There's, you know, somebody wants to have a, something to say, but, you know, somebody's trying to keep them, keep them quiet. Somebody also needs to control themselves, control their temper. This could be a Leo. Okay, Holy Spirit, what are the messages? Hmm. Somebody want to give this little old cup. What, what is this? A page of cups, okay? So this is a message regarding um love, but that's cool and everything, but look at that little teeny... What is that in that cup? There's a fish in there. Like, surprise. What, what, what are you going to do? Offer somebody love and then give them a fish sandwich? I mean, what's going on here? Because is this all somebody got to offer? This could be like childish, like a childish, immature love. Like somebody could just be, you know, childish in this relationship for some of you. You could have been dealing with somebody who was like really childish, giving some half behind love, okay? And it got to fit, you know, hey, fishes. It could be very emotional for some of you. It could have been very emotional. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Look at that look on their face. They're looking like, I don't even believe that I'm, you know, giving them, I don't believe, I'm, I'm just trying to see what's going to go on if, you know, somebody's like half, sorry y'all, somebody's like half, half and half and with the, a love or the offer, it's not really, it's not really a, a mature offer is what, can I say that y'all? It's not a mature offer, but there is a, you got the Ace of Cups again, okay? Which I feel like there's going to be, you know, like a new beginning. Like, look, whoever's trying to block somebody here from leaving, okay? Somebody's really like, and this is your energy, first up. Got all kind of yellow in the car, you know, you're all bright. You got your uh, money together, you know. You feeling good about yourself? You're ready to move forward because you know you're sitting on the side, so you gotta be moving, okay? You got to be moving, uh, uh, but you had to release this bird. You're like I'm throwing this stuff. Something's burdensome here with somebody, and you're you're, and it could be a fire sign, and you're just like laying that down, you know. And there's no more stalemate here. Somebody's came to reality about something, all right? And now they're moving forward, but somebody's trying to block look, with their little put. Look, stop it, whoever's doing this. <laughs> you know, oh, don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere. Okay. Cause I want you, I want the I want the attention. I need you. Okay. And this horse is even looking like, what? Look at that horse. Looking like, what? Really? I don't, I don't even want to go forward. I just want to, you know, I want to pause, but you just want to go forward. With your head bandana on, okay? Let me see here. <laughs> so somebody's trying to get somebody to talk, I believe. Somebody's trying to, you know, use their 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 man or woman power. Somebody's trying to use their power here. <sighs> okay, and uh, somebody delivering some immature type love, but somebody's ready to start a new love, okay? With a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they want to deaden this whole situation. Like, they, they feel like it's over. There's ten swords in somebody, okay? Stuck, blood, everything, you know? It's like, the end, okay? New chapter, please. Somebody may think something's over, but it's not, you know? Somebody had a harsh ending. Somebody dealt with a lot of backstabbing. Blood and all that crap on the floor, on the and it was done in a cold, harsh way because, you know, look at the snow on the ground. Okay, that's that's cold. Uh, there's love. See, we thought somebody may have thought something. Somebody may have thought that, you know, the situation, the situation killed them. Something hurt some hurtful situation here but no here's an offer here okay here's an offer from a, a, 
a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? Just when you thought it was over, you thought you was dead and gone, thought you, you know, you, you suffered the ultimate hurt and pain here, but somebody's like, whoa, you know, after tens are ends, endings for new beginnings because here's that big love here, okay? Somebody had to sacrifice something here. Somebody had to let somebody go who was just lit, a very immature, especially when it comes to love or trying to give some type of, type of love. They were immature about it. So now somebody's looking at you or you looking at someone with love. Like, here's the offer. See how when you let stuff go that don't no longer serve you, how something else comes in? Looking right at you. Look, they looking right at you like, I got you, babe. I got you. Get up off of that ground. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna wipe you off, all that blood off of you. We're gonna go somewhere where it's nice and warm and cozy. Cause see, they're standing behind the sun. Look like the sun anyway. We're gonna, you know, drink some wine together. We're gonna talk about this situation. We, you know, I'm gonna hear you out, but I'm definitely gonna offer you my love. This is a romantic person here, male or female. They're romantic. They're gonna throw the romance on you, okay? <laughs> or for some of you, I'm getting another message that it could be this person that you, you know, kind of like let go. I don't know. This heartbreak card came out. Wow. Ooh. Is this in Oh, it's in reverse. Like the heartbreak is over with, okay? Yeah, this person is going to come in and help soothe and heal your heart. If this is you that you've been through this, like a, some kind of disappointment, some kind of backstabbing, somebody being very, very cold, you know, if this is you, there's the six of cups. I, like I'm seeing, like some of you, this is two scenarios I'm seeing here is somebody that you thought that it was over with is something may be starting back up again. For some of you, it's a new beginning. You ended something, and and as soon as you end it, here comes Mr. Romance or Mrs. Romance. You know, just going to sweep you off your feet, and, you know, this pain that you felt is, is going to disappear. It's going to go away, okay? With somebody, it could be from somebody from your past, or it just talks about, you know, um, a soulmate connection, somebody that you're solely taught, uh, feeling some kind of soul connection, some type of soul. Some of you could be entering a relationship with somebody you already knew before. Maybe high school, you know, when you were kids. For some of you. But again, and for some of you, it's just um, a new beginning on a love relationship. Like this, the soulmate card, too. Like really looking at each other and working well together and it's like a spiritual connection with all the cups is very emotional um very the, the, all those cups are filled so it's emotionally gratifying okay and and y'all like that because somebody likes that feeling the sun the sun look how yellow all the yellow in the card look at the daisies i guess they daisies y'all i know y'all going to correct me if they ain't but hey let's 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 not go there. <laughs> this is going to be a love that lasts forever with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? It could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? If that's it, it's a wrap. I feel a marriage here. I feel I feel um, a strong connection. Um, I feel like this is it, okay? Like I was telling you guys, this is all fitting in with what I was seeing. Re, uh, you know, intuitively that I was feeling, you know, I, I, and I think I want to leave it at that because that is to me, like, uh, this is all very sweet, very, very sweet. This is it y'all. That's all I keep hearing. This is it for a lot of you Capricorns out there. Congratulations. Even though you did be, go through something. Sometimes you have to go through something in order for something else to, to happen. For something else to come into your life. There have to be endings for new beginnings. And there has to be, uh, we have to learn to love who we are. Okay, we can't rely uh, going outside of ourselves for love. Because nobody owes us anything. We owe it to ourselves. It has to come from, our, from self first. Self-love, okay? 
if you know and that's the show and that's when you'll be getting your blessings you know that's when blessings come in that's when your uh uh your most high you know holy spirit comes in and say oh wow well, i'm glad you appreciate yourself because if the creator created you that's just like if you have a child or anybody you know you have a child and you bring it into war world and this child is walking around acting like they don't like their self you know acting all you know like oh i'm i'm this hopeless uh you know all i do is cry over spilt milk every time something bad happens it must be me you know i'm an i'm emotionally broken don't feel good about myself i keep picking situations that does nothing but you know spill over and, and you know fall disappointments always happening i'm always crying okay so yeah we all go through this every single one of us these cards all this stuff in these cards we all go through it's all part and that is just a story it's your storyline but would you you know the parent is going to look at you like why do you feel this way about yourself I didn't create, I didn't, I, I love you, you know I'm, what I mean? Because you're, you're you're a part of me, you're a part of the world, you're, you deserve, you're, you're worthy, okay? You are worthy. That's where self-love comes in at. And don't you think that's how your creator who created you, you don't think that they created you out of love? You don't think they gave you free will? So if somebody gives you, you know, bring it, give you free will, like, you know what? Good or bad, you know, they're your choices. That's the bed that you're going to have to lay in, period. That's the bed you have to lay in out of your choices because you have free will. Sometimes we take advantage of our, or our own free will, whether it be good or whether it be bad, because we can take advantage of other people, okay? And that's not a good thing. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. That could cause, all you know, self-hate. Because you think it might be doing something for you, but it's not. But you, you just you have to learn to love yourself, period, in order to get this type of love. Okay, somebody coming to you like we're all vibrational. These these cards are vibrations. You know that's why they when they you shuffle, you know they come out in in, a, in some type of story. So you have to be love, love yourself in order to vibrate the love to you. That's the only way you're going to have this this everlasting love. Even when you you know leave out of your body, you always have this experience to go by. You know, you always have this loving experience, you know, even in your afterlife. That's what we are doing here. We're preparing ourselves for our afterlife. It has nothing to do with being here because you know for sure for sure we are out of here, each and every one of us. But you know what? Live your life the best, you know, and it all starts with you. Live your life the best is because it starts with you, okay? It, because that's going to carry on into your everlasting. Okay, let's get another one, right? Another round we're doing. Six of coins. There's some stability here for you guys. This is your energy, the green around it. Y'all are earth signs, okay? You're connected to the, the earth very grounded, very stable. So there's going to be an even give and take. I keep telling you, there's going to, and it came out in all the reading so far about generosity, two people being generous towards one another. Gifts, um, loving, you know, love is a gift. Love is a gift, okay? It's a gift and it's special over any material things. Love is all there is. Love is all there ever be. Love is all we need. See, there's going to be a blessing after a walking away, okay? Six of blades here, but it's the six of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra's energy, some type of air energy. Yeah, it's going to be a cutoff with the queen or king of blades, okay? This is somebody who, you know, is very, they think they're very logical, okay? They look at things uh, under a, a microscope before they make a decision then they'll make their decision whether they should cut something off or not so somebody really thought this through and then became you know very cold because look at that look at that they became cold and like 
very standoffish and, and making their like making a decision like you know really really fast like just cut that's it it's done and then someone turned into the magician that talks about an Aquarius a Virgo or a, a Gemini okay um, so somebody is you know actually planting their seeds okay they're getting things together and they're actually manifesting something, okay? When you plant seeds, you manifest because something grows, okay? So a lot of you are really manifesting what you want here in your life. You're, you're kind of be, you're the magician. That's a big energy. That's major arcana there, so. to break these cards in. <laughs> like I said, I got a lot of cards that are new. I've had them for a while and you haven't been using them and things like that. So, wow, this keeps coming up to four of cups. Four of cups is somebody who cries over spilt milk. You know, there's some type of a disappointment. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's kind of disappointed that you rejected them or, or something. Yeah. Somebody's disappointed that some disappointed that there was a rejection. Whether it was you or the other person, like I said, y'all gotta put that in content yourself. Okay. And here's your energy, king or queen of coins, where you know somebody just went solo, went single, doing their own thing, you know, being uh prosperous working hard all right a hard worker and independent and the nine of cups now somebody has peace look you see how you see how uh content this person is in this card this is your energy when you see the green around it that's your energy there capricorn virgo taurus very content, very happy, very peaceful now that you're on your own, doing your own thing, you know, rejecting a situation that no longer serves you. Somebody may be disappointed. Oh, wow. I've been running my mouth, y'all. Why don't y'all tell me to stop? Hmm. Why y'all ain't put up the red? Hey, say I do. Simply love. What's up? Ooh, boy. Okay. We got the Ace of Corns. Your energy again. Okay. New beginnings. This. Uh. No, it didn't. New beginnings in a relationship. Definitely going to be a stable new relationship coming up for you after some time alone, after some time, you know, after cutting off a situation with someone and you're, uh, you're happy and content about it, not, um, or you, or it could be, you know, vice versa. All right. You really, really got it together here. Ready for this new beginning. Be being very prosperous again. Yep, look at that. You winner. You're a winner. You made it. You made it. Possibly with a fire sign. The Six of Wands, it talks about achievement, all right? And making it, being victorious, as you can see. And the Fool card is like, look, a whole new beginning starting up for you guys. Wow. Major Arcana. Whole new beginning going on here. And very victorious. Congratulations again, Capricorn. That's what I'm talking about. Let me hurry up here <laughs> so I get you guys off. Uh, oh, like again, you got the um, somebody coming in being very loving, very romantic. This is a romance of a lifetime, okay? Somebody really going out their way to show somebody how much they care. Okay, how much they care, really, really, y'all. And now the world is at your feet, okay? Now you can move on. Now you can start this new beginning. Things are finally going your way. Now it's the end of a, a, a karmic cycle, so you can just be free to move on into this 
new relationship that's going to be very romantic. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The world card could be any sign, all signs, I'd say. Okay, because you know, you done been through the whole nine yards now, you're free. Okay, you're free to move forward. No more karmic situations. That's the end of that. Okay, so congratulations for some of you who resonated with this. Okay, so let me get your romance card from my deck here. You can find it on my website. Thank you all who purchased. Look at this. This one kept coming out. I was like, wow. Yep, that's for you guys. Mm-hmm. A forever love. I already told you that throughout the whole reading. So, you know, some of you guys are coming into a forever love. This love, this love will last a lifetime, okay? We already said that. And this is confirming it, okay? A love of a lifetime, but somebody's pissed off. I guess maybe the person you left behind, they got ill feelings, okay? You know, they, they really mad. Acrimony, okay? They just can't get over it. Someone is bitter or has ill feelings, Okay? Uh, and we saw that you guys walked away from somebody in order to get this new relationship, this forever love. So the other person bitter, but don't worry about them. Let them be bitter, all right? Ain't nothing you can do about that if that's the attitude they want to take. Some people don't know how to say goodbye in a gracious way, okay? They just don't know how to handle that, some people. All right, let me give you a confession of the doll. Let me get you a doll and see what they say, okay? So we got uh, Priscilla. Priscilla's been coming out a lot. And Priscilla says, without rain, nothing grows. Learn to embrace the storms in your life. Yes. you have. See, you have to go through something in order to, to get something, in order to get somewhere. But you got to allow it. We can't try to stop. We can't try to stop. Oh, you know, you just pushing back your 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 faith, faith, when you try to hold on to something that's not meant to be. Okay, it's like you're holding up a wheel, like you you like throwing a monkey wrench in there. Sometimes these things happen for us to grow. Because without it, how can we grow? So we have to appreciate the bad times just as well as we do to look forward to the good times. You know, our bad times ain't nothing but a growing learning process. We don't, It's not that serious. All we have to do is just let it happen so we can take it to the next level. And then you'll, you'll get, you can get over your fears that way too. A lot of times, you know, my dad used to say, do it, do it. If you're scared, do it anyway. Expect the worst, but you know, it's not going to be as bad as what you think. Okay. I, I hope that made sense. If you guys want a personal private reading, please contact me. Thank you so much for joining. Please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you guys in mid-month. Bye.